In this lesson, we're going to look at how to validate an email address in JavaScript. So the simplest way to validate an email in JavaScript is basically to take the string that the user has entered into a particular input field and see if it matches a particular pattern that would make up a normal email address. And the way we can do pattern matching in JavaScript or indeed many other languages is to use a regular expression. So we'll take a look at two examples, a really simple example and a complex example as well. But before we do that, it's probably worth noting that a lot of modern browsers like Chrome have built-in checking for valid email addresses. For example, if I try and fill out this simple form and hit the submit button, you see I can't actually complete the form because Chrome actually checks the email address and blocks the submission of the form. And further to that as well, if the user has got JavaScript disabled or they work out another way around your code, you should always have some checking on the back end with whichever server-side technology you're using to check that you've actually got some valid data. In other words, we don't trust anything that the user has ever supplied to us. So let's take a look at the two regular expressions to match for email addresses and we'll start off with the simple example. And this pattern is really simple, we're just checking that we're not getting any spaces before the at symbol. And then after the at symbol, we're not actually getting any more spaces until we get a full stop or a period, followed by a few more characters at the end. So it's not a particularly effective pattern, but it'll give you the idea of how we can actually match email addresses, and it should match for quite a lot of examples. So to actually use the regular expression, if we want to get a true or false to see if our string actually matches the pattern, first let's get the value out of the input field. Then we can call the test function on the simple email regex variable. And as expected, the text that we've entered in the input box doesn't match the pattern, but if we update that to a valid email address, and try again, you can see when we enter a valid email address, we get a true response from the test function. So let's have a look at a complicated regular expression to do the same thing. And I'm just going to copy and paste this in here because it'll take me forever to write it out. And applying that to the value in the email input box again, you can see we're still getting a true response, but we can also now handle more complicated examples. So I actually found this pattern online and it does come from the Chrome runtime. So essentially this is what Chrome is using when you enter an email address and hit that submit button. It's actually testing the user entered value against this pattern. So there's just a couple of ways that you can test for valid emails within your JavaScript code. Don't forget if you are going to be doing validation on the front end that you need the same sort of pattern matching on the back end as well so that you get a consistent result when the user enters a valid or an invalid email address.